Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and my channel is all about teaching you how to have your very own successful Etsy business. I started my Etsy shop in 2020 after losing my job almost two years ago now to the day. I'm now a full-time Etsy seller and content creator, and I've been able to sell over $550,000 of print-on-demand t-shirts on Etsy in that time. In this video, we're going to compare if you should have a niche store or a general store for your Etsy shop. If you aren't familiar with those terms, a niche store is where you have an Etsy shop filled with one particular type of design or topic. This could be as specific as cat shirts, or it could be as general as just professions shirts. But the overall idea is that you have one particular theme to your store and then you only sell those. So it would be like if you had just one store about one thing inside of a big mall, which is Etsy. As a general store, you would sell hundreds of different niches all within the same store. So instead of being one store within a mall, you are the mall. So which one is better for starting an Etsy store? I'm going to go through the benefits and disadvantages of both options, and then I'll tell you which one that I recommend for you to do for your store to get the most amount of sales. The biggest advantage of having a niche store on Etsy is that you have one particular customer in mind, so you can very easily brand your shop and market your shop to one specific person. So the benefits that you get from this is you could, when you start your store, start an email list that you offer a discount for people to join your email list. They'd get a discount on their clothes. You could add a little photo card in the pictures offering this. And then as you release new products or run sales, you could email out to this email list since you know all of them are interested in the same type of topic. Same with social media, you can be super consistent and really build up a following by also sharing memes or information or blog posts that those particular customers might find helpful. Then once you've built up a following on Etsy, you could take your email list and all your customers you're bringing in from social media, and you could then actually easily transition over to your own website where you'd pay less Etsy fees, and then now it's easier to run traffic to your website since you've already got a customer base built in and you wouldn't have to run quite as many Facebook ads and bring in outside traffic. The most difficult thing with picking a niche store on Etsy though is finding the exact right niche because you wanna make sure that there's enough demand in the niche that you pick that you'll be able to build a successful Etsy store that'll give you consistent sales all year round. So you'd wanna do some research and see if there's other Etsy stores that are selling just that same particular niche. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if there are stores that are already successful, that's a great sign. But if there aren't, then that could mean that there's not enough consistent sales to only be selling that one particular niche. A good example of a niche that you could build an entire store around is the wedding and bachelorette party niche. But even this gets really slow in the winter months. On to a general store. So the biggest thing to understand about Etsy is that Etsy is a search engine based website. So the majority of people are coming to Etsy, they already have something in mind that they're looking to buy. So they're gonna go ahead and type in the search bar, maybe funny bachelorette shirts. Then they'll look through the first two or three pages of results, they'll find the one they like to buy and they go ahead and buy it without ever actually going to someone's specific Etsy shop. So having a general store and being in hundreds of different niches means that you're coming up in way more of those different searches across Etsy's platform and giving you a lot more opportunities to be found and get sales for whatever happens to be trending at that time. You can sell in every holiday, every season, every niche that's popular throughout the year, every year like graduation shirts, family vacation shirts, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the list goes on forever. The general store method is what I've used to build my Etsy business to be a full-time consistent income for myself. I have items for sale that are seasonal, but I also have lots of items for sale that are evergreen, meaning they sell all year round. So I've been able to create a consistent and predictable income for myself. 
The biggest benefit that I've found from having a general store on Etsy is I've been able to try so many different niches and so many different design styles that now I really have a great idea of what works best for me. And if I ever wanted to start my own website, I'd already have proven designs, proven SEO that customers are already looking to buy. What I recommend if you're just starting on your Etsy journey is to open up a general store. Try lots of different niches, try lots of different design styles, see what works best for you, and then duplicate it and do more of it. You can always narrow down and get rid of what doesn't work for you later, but this is going to be the fastest way for you to proof out what's going to be your best sellers. I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding what the differences are between the two options and deciding on what works best for you. If you've already started your Etsy store and you're not sure if you've diversified enough to have consistent sales and you're not seeing the success that you'd like, then I do have a link in the description below for my Etsy shop reviews where I go in and actually analyze the niches that you're in, the SEO you're using, the photos, the description, your overall branding, and let you know where you could improve to become more successful on Etsy. So feel free to go ahead and schedule one of those today if you think that would be helpful for you. Comment down below if you have any questions or videos you'd like me to make for you in the future, and please consider subscribing if you did enjoy this video and would like to see more content like this in the future, and we'll see you in the next one.